to my channel and today we have our first vlog on this channel and that is about my trip to Agra last year in December end. Now besides doing a lot of businesses, besides blogging, freelancing, coaching more than 73 people online and helping them start out their freelancing careers, reach their income goals, land international clients and reach thousands of dollars in one month besides all of that jazz that i keep doing and i keep talking about about how you can start your business how you can start freelancing this besides all of this amazing things that we talk about each and every week on this channel i also wanted to give you a glimpse in my own life um, into how these online businesses freelancing blogging youtubing changed my life in terms of flexibility freedom and finances Today I am going to talk about our trip to Agra which happened in December last year. It wasn't so much about Taj Mahal in Agra because both of us has already seen it as it was about going to Oberoi Amarudanas which is one of the best properties, one of the best hotels to stay in Agra which gives you a direct view of Taj Mahal from each of their rooms, each of their settings, um, their entire property actually is a situated in a manner where you can see Taj Mahal every single moment that you're on that property which I wanted to experience because I like traveling and I like trying out these kind of hotels a lot so because we live in Delhi NCR, Agra isn't that far away and because there were a lot of COVID protocols in place that time we thought that you know one day trip to Agra would actually be nice so we drove down to Agra it took us about three to four hours to reach there we uh, left somewhere around nine in the morning and reached by lunch time we grabbed a quick bite on the way itself because we were really hungry and we did not want to wait until we reached the hotel so we just grabbed a quick bite and, and we finally reached Amar Villas and it was really easy to spot Anyways, let's start. Um, we reached Oberoi Amar Villas. The entrance is so grand and so close to Taj Mahal that you cannot miss it. The drive till the parking itself was so soothing, lush green and without any commotion which I really loved and it is pretty uncommon. At the gate we were greeted well, our bags were checked through the machine and all of that and we were let inside. So I don't have a video of this entrance because I did not ever think that I'm going to vlog about it. But here we are and here is a photo that you can see. This is the outside of the reception area. It is the premises where they have created a water body and a bridge like walkway on top of it. Seatings at all the other three ends which gives you a very luxurious feel. You can chill there and it's very quiet. I have a stupid video that we clicked off me at night that you can see on the screen right now but I'm sharing it with you so that you can see the outside and how pretty it was at night. We actually end up spending a lot of time in the night here because it was quiet. The weather was really good because it was the end of December and it was decently cold. This is the reception area. Everyone at the reception desk to the bellboy and staff in general was really helpful in every single way. 100% um, and 10 on 10 on hospitality to Oberoi Amar Villas. We were given the key and asked to wait in their lounge till they process everything. This lounge is palatial with high ceilings which I personally love for the view of Taj Mahal and it was surreal to be able to sip on coffee while you look at Taj Mahal. It is a given the property is pretty huge, peace to the eyes and it's luxurious but it is just so comfortable, cozy and also extremely safe. Not only the compounds of Oberoi Amar Villas, but we did go for a walk at 1 a.m. outside of Amar Villas till Taj Mahal and it did not feel scary at all. There is a lot of security there so it's completely fine. It's completely safe. Now let's go to the room. As you enter the room on the left there is washroom. It was turquoise and it might feel weird to a lot of you but I found it really cute and pretty the dressing room where there were two robes and amazingly soft cotton ones it was really very comfortable and i loved them moving on was the bedroom tv and a desk where i did work for a bit just a little bit and my favorite was the window from where you could see the amazing property the lush greenery that it had and the view of taj mahal directly every single moment now coming to the property I love taking pictures um, and maybe 
doing a little bit cheesy stuff so we took out our cameras tripods shot random stuff like we walking on the property doing some um, romantic videos like the ones you can see on the screen right now and calling it a day we did not want to go out because it was during the covid time with a lot of covid protocols in place and we did not want to go anywhere where there was a crowd so we just clicked a lot of pictures Oberoi guys arranged kite flying for us so we did that we generally strolled and sat at sat looking at the greenery and admiring the property that they have then comes the dinner we decided to have the dinner at their own restaurant and it was a five course meal starting at shorba starters main course the sweet dish and a complimentary cake with an with amazing live music that i loved so again i don't have the videos of all of this but i do have photos so you can check that out so that's the shorba that's the starters those are the sweet dish i don't have photos of the main course i just ate it and that's the cake next day we dressed up had breakfast at amar villas itself which was included in the room tariff and then we went to taj mahal we hired a guide who took us around the monument in flat 30 minutes we didn't have more time than that but it was a good experience we did not miss out anything and i think 30 to 40 minutes are just enough to look at this monument we found a spot where there were hardly any people with the direct view of Taj Mahal and we did get a little cliche actually I got a little cliche and I wanted to dance a little bit in front of Taj Mahal because um, that way I'm a little Bollywoodish so yeah so we did this as you can see on the screen dancing in front of Taj Mahal did make me feel that it was right out of Bollywood and I love it Finally, we headed for lunch at this hotel named Sanya Palace. It is a rooftop restaurant at a local hotel. It is um, in the interiors. It will look a little shady, but it really isn't. The guys are extremely friendly and they will make everything available to you and make you comfortable. I recommend these guys not only because they cook decently, the food was decent, nothing amazing, but the view is great and so is the hospitality and so has so is the experience so yeah i would recommend that you do go check it out once it's extremely close and walkable distance from taj mahal now let's look at the budget of this trip now that i have taken you around the property now i have talked about it i have showed you the room the property in general my experience with it my experience to walk into taj mahal and all of that i wanted to give you a short summary about how much this trip costed me so we booked a premier room at Amar Villas, which costed us about 26,000 rupees, including taxes. The dinner that we had at their restaurant was about 5,000 rupees. That was inclusive of the GST. Because we drove down and calculating diesel and toll as well, which came about 4,000 rupees. The entry fee to Taj Mahal is 200 rupees per person for Indian nationals. And that costed us 400 rupees because it was for me and my husband Amit. And we also hired a guide, as I told you, which costed us about 200 rupees. Besides that, the lunch at the rooftop restaurant costed us around 700. So in totality, including the miscellaneous expenses that I have not calculated, things like chips and cold drinks and just, you know, grabbing something to eat or trying to Pani puris and all of that. The total trip costed us 37,000. So we left in the morning at 10 a.m. that day and we came back the next day evening by 6 p.m. If you like the video, don't forget to hit subscribe and comment below. Let me know if you like the video. If you would want me to make more of such videos where, you, where I give you a glimpse in my personal life about what I own, what I do, where I go, how I plan my travels, how I plan my work around my travels, and all of that. I would love to know if you're interested in it so I can make more of such videos. Bye bye, guys. I hope you liked the video.